Strange cracks are appearing in the Grand Teton Mountains. Scientists warn there could be signs of hidden dangers deep beneath the Rockies. For Grand Teton National Park, Bridger Teton National Forest. Parts of Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming are now closed to the public as a dangerous fissure has opened. What if the ground beneath the Grand Teton suddenly shifted, sending shockwaves toward Yellowstone? New 2025 research warns this hidden fault could trigger a disaster no one expects. What if one of America's most iconic mountain ranges wasn't as solid as it looks? What if cracks are already forming across its rugged peaks, hinting at forces building beneath the surface? The Grand Teton Range in Wyoming is a symbol of permanence. Towering granite spires rising straight from the earth, carved by glaciers, admired by millions. To the naked eye, they look eternal. But in recent months, scientists have issued a chilling warning. A mysterious crack has opened near Grand Teton, and no one is sure how far it will go. Hikers first noticed it, a jagged fracture running across a cliff face, large enough to swallow boulders. At first, it looked like normal rockfall, the kind that happens in every mountain range. But measurements told another story. The crack wasn't static. It was widening. Then came the instruments. Seismometers around the Tetons picked up faint tremors, tiny earthquakes rippling under the range. Geologists began asking dangerous questions. Was this simply erosion, or was it the surface expression of something much deeper, something tied to the restless volcanic and tectonic systems surrounding Yellowstone? Now, officials have closed trails and issued warnings to visitors. Scientists are scrambling to monitor the fracture, worried that it could trigger massive landslides, or even hint at larger geological forces building beneath Wyoming's mountains. The Tetons have stood for millions of years, but what's happening now may prove they are far from unshakable. Chapter 1. Cracks in Paradise The crack that sparked the alarm is located near Hidden Falls and Inspiration Point, one of the park's most popular hiking destinations. Stretching across the cliffside, it appeared suddenly, its jagged lines cutting through granite that had stood firm for millennia. At first, rangers assumed it was harmless, a product of natural freeze-thaw cycles that split rocks every winter. But as experts examined it, they realized the crack was unusual. It wasn't just surface-level chipping. The fracture cut deep, with voids large enough to see daylight shining through. Some sections measured nearly 100 feet long, even more alarming, the crack was moving. Instruments placed around the site detected subtle shifts, millimeters at first, then centimeters, as the rock slowly pulled apart. It was as if the mountains themselves were breathing, stretching under an unseen force. This isn't the first time cracks have emerged in the Tetons. Geologists know the range is young, geologically speaking, formed by a massive fault system that continues to push the peaks upward today. But cracks of this size, appearing so suddenly, are rare and potentially catastrophic. If the fracture widens further, entire blocks of rock could shear away, crashing into the valley below. For a park that sees millions of visitors each year, the risk is staggering. The Tetons may look like paradise, but the crack spreading across their slopes is a reminder even the strongest mountains can break. Chapter 2. The Hidden Fault Beneath the Tetons The Grand Teton Range isn't just a line of mountains. It's the exposed edge of a massive fault system. The Teton Fault, stretching nearly 40 miles along the base of the range, is one of the most active normal faults in North America. Every few thousand years, it slips violently, raising the mountains higher while dropping the valley floor below. It's this fault that gave the Tetons their dramatic shape, peaks that rise almost vertically from the valley with no foothills in between. To geologists, it's proof that the crust here is still on the move. To locals, it's a silent threat that most choose to forget. The crack discovered near Hidden Falls may be more than a surface fracture. Some scientists believe it could be linked to movement along the Teton Fault itself. If so, it would mean that the range is shifting again, and not in small increments. In the worst-case scenario, a rupture along the Teton Fault could unleash an earthquake of magnitude 7 or higher. 
Such a quake would devastate Jackson Hole, shaking buildings, tearing roads, and possibly triggering massive landslides down the steep slopes of the Tetons. For now, the fault remains quiet. But cracks like the one spreading across the cliffs are signals. They whisper of stress building deep below, stress that we'll eventually have to release. The Tetons didn't form gently. They rose in violent bursts of earth movement. And if the crack is connected to the fault beneath, the next burst may be closer than anyone expects. Chapter 3. Tremors in Yellowstone's Shadow Adding to the unease is the Teton's infamous neighbor, Yellowstone. Just 60 miles north of Grand Teton lies the world's most dangerous supervolcano, a system so vast that it dwarfs every other volcanic threat in North America. For years, scientists have tracked earthquake swarms around Yellowstone, tiny tremors that sometimes number in the hundreds over just a few days. Most are harmless, but together they reveal a restless crust, one shaped by magma rising, fluids migrating and faults shifting under stress. Recent tremors near Grand Teton overlap with this activity. Seismic sensors picked up quakes that seem to ripple not just through the Teton Fault, but also through the interconnected crust beneath Yellowstone's volcanic field. This has led some experts to warn that the two systems may not be as separate as once believed. Could Yellowstone's restlessness be straining the Tetons? Could deep fluids or heat moving through the crust be weakening rock, setting the stage for cracks and landslides? The idea is unsettling. If the Teton Fault and Yellowstone's volcanic system are linked, activity in one could influence the other, magnifying the risks on both sides. For visitors, the Tetons are a place of beauty. For scientists, they are beginning to look more like the southern edge of a restless volcanic giant. Chapter 4. Landslide on the Horizon For geologists, the crack in Grand Teton isn't just a curiosity, it's a warning sign of something far more destructive, a landslide. The Tetons are among the steepest mountains in the Rockies, with sheer cliffs rising thousands of feet above the valley floor. That beauty is also their weakness. When cracks like the one at Hidden Falls widen, they can destabilize entire rock faces. One sudden shift could send millions of tons of granite cascading down downward. This isn't speculation, it has happened before. Massive landslide deposits dot Jackson Hole, reminders of when the mountains tore themselves apart in the past. Some ancient slides were so large, they dammed rivers and reshaped valleys. If a similar event occurred today, the consequences would be catastrophic. Tourists on popular trails could be trapped within seconds, roads and bridges in Grand Teton National Park could be buried, and the valley towns below, like Jackson, could face debris flows and flooding if landslides block streams and create natural dams. Worse still, a landslide of this scale could generate something unexpected, a local quake. The sudden displacement of rock can release seismic energy, shaking the region in ways indistinguishable from a tectonic earthquake. In the shadow of Yellowstone, that kind of shake could trigger a chain reaction scientists are desperate to avoid. The Tetons are cracking, and with every shift in the rock, the chances of a catastrophic landslide grow higher. Chapter 5. Cracks Across the West the crack in the Tetons isn't an isolated story. It's part of a larger pattern spreading across the American West. From California's San Andreas Fault to Nevada's Walker Lane Belt, scientists are seeing evidence of increased seismic restlessness. In the past year alone, swarms of microquakes have rattled Salt Lake City, Reno, and Yellowstone. Cracks have opened in deserts, farmlands, and even highways, sometimes stretching for miles without warning. While not every fissure is connected, the sheer number of anomalies is forcing scientists to reconsider whether the West is entering a new seismic phase. Some geologists point to the Basin and Range Province, a vast region of stretching crust that extends from Nevada into Wyoming. As the land pulls apart, faults across the West, including the Teton Fault, are being stressed. Others warn that climate change may be accelerating the process. Melting glaciers and heavy rainfall can add or remove weight from mountains, subtly destabilizing the crust. Either way, the Tetons may be one crack in a much bigger story. If the entire West is under stress, the fracture at Hidden Falls could be a local symptom of a continental scale shift. The West has always been restless, but the cracks appearing across its landscape suggest that something bigger may be unfolding. 
and the Tetons could be just the beginning. Chapter 6 – Yellowstone's Silent Influence To understand what's happening in the Tetons, scientists are looking north, toward Yellowstone. The supervolcano dominates the region's geology, a colossal system of magma and heat sitting just beneath the crust. Its restless activity sends tremors, gas and pressure rippling far beyond the caldera itself. Recent studies suggest that stress from Yellowstone may extend into the Teton Range. Deep beneath the earth, molten rock and hot fluids push against the crust, weakening faults and making them more prone to movement. It doesn't mean Yellowstone is about to erupt, but it does mean its influence may be quietly reshaping the Tetons. In fact, researchers discovered something alarming. Some of the microquakes near Grand Teton carry signatures similar to those detected in Yellowstone's earthquake swarms. It's as if the two systems are whispering to each other, their fates intertwined beneath the surface. If this is true, then the crack in the Tetons isn't just about local instability. It could be part of a much larger story, one in which the entire Yellowstone Teton region is alive with shifting, groaning crust. The silence of Yellowstone doesn't mean safety, it means pressure, and the Tetons may be where that pressure is beginning to break through. Chapter 7 – Scientists on Edge Inside the halls of universities and government agencies, the mood is tense. Researchers monitoring the Tetons are on edge, their instruments recording signals they can't easily explain. Official statements to the public remain calm, assuring visitors that the park is safe. But behind closed doors the warnings are louder. Leaked reports mention active displacement along the Teton Fault and unusual widening of the crack near Hidden Falls. Some scientists worry that the fracture is only the beginning, the surface expression of stress building miles beneath the range. What makes this so unnerving is the uncertainty. Earthquakes are notoriously difficult to predict, and landslides even more so. The Tetons could remain quiet for decades, or they could rupture tomorrow. The only certainty is that the mountains are shifting, and the crack proves it. Meanwhile, government agencies are quietly preparing. Trails have been closed, monitoring equipment upgraded, and emergency protocols drafted. Locals whisper that officials are bracing for something bigger, even if they won't say it out loud. For the scientists on edge, the Tetons are no longer just majestic peaks. They are a ticking clock, and the crack is the second hand, moving ever forward. Chapter 8 – Towns in the Crosshairs When people think of danger in the Tetons, they picture rock climbers clinging to granite faces or skiers braving avalanches. But the real threat may come from below, and it could hit the very towns that thrive in the shadow of the range. Jackson, Wyoming sits directly in the crosshairs of the Teton Fault. A major earthquake here could flatten buildings, tear roads apart, and cripple the tourism economy that keeps the region alive. Older structures, not built to modern seismic codes, would be especially vulnerable. Hospitals and schools could be shaken to their foundations, leaving the community scrambling to survive. The danger doesn't stop with shaking. Landslides cascading off the Teton slopes could bury roads and cut off escape routes, trapping thousands in the valley. Rivers could be dammed by falling rock, creating sudden lakes that might later burst in catastrophic floods. And then there's the hidden threat. Infrastructure, gas lines, power grids and water systems all run across the fault zone. A rupture could snap them instantly, plunging towns into chaos at the very moment they need stability most. For residents and visitors alike, the Tetons are paradise. But the crack spreading across their slopes is a stark reminder. Paradise can turn into disaster in the blink of an eye. Chapter 9 – The Domino Effect The Tetons don't exist in isolation. They're part of a vast puzzle of faults and mountain ranges stretching across the west. And scientists fear that a rupture here could set off a domino effect of disasters. If the Teton Fault slips, it could transfer stress into nearby systems. The Gros Ventre Fault to the east, the Snake River Plain to the west, and even Yellowstone to the north could all feel the impact. One rupture might trigger another, creating a chain reaction of quakes and landslides across the region. History shows this isn't just speculation. In 1959, the Hebgen Lake earthquake in Montana, just north of Yellowstone, triggered massive landslides, dam failures, and widespread destruction. 
That quake was a stark reminder that faults in this region are interconnected, capable of cascading failures. Now, with the Tetons showing cracks, scientists worry we could be on the edge of something similar, or worse. If multiple faults were to rupture in sequence, the devastation could stretch across three states, overwhelming emergency response and crippling infrastructure on a regional scale. The West has always been restless, but the crack in the Tetons could be the first domino to fall, setting off a chain of events with consequences far beyond Wyoming. Chapter 10. The Countdown Begins The scariest part of the Grand Teton crack isn't what we can see, it's what we can't. Beneath the jagged line splitting open the mountainside, stress is silently building. Instruments show subtle ground shifts, slow but relentless. The crack widens by millimetres, then centimetres, each movement a reminder that the Earth does not wait forever. Scientists know what this means. The countdown has begun. Whether it ends in a landslide, a major earthquake, or a series of smaller ruptures, no one can say. But the signs point in one direction. Instability. Emergency planners quietly draft scenarios. In one, a landslide thunders into the valley, cutting off Jackson and burying key highways. In another, the Teton Fault slips violently, triggering a quake that shakes the Rockies from Montana to Utah. And in the most chilling models, the crack is just the beginning of a chain reaction that spreads north into Yellowstone's restless volcanic field. For now, the mountains stand tall, their jagged peaks piercing the Wyoming sky. But every measurement, every tremor, and every widening fracture tells the same story. The Tetons are not eternal. They are alive, and their countdown is ticking. Chapter 11. Cracks in the Mountain cracks in the earth. The Grand Teton Range has always been a symbol of strength, beauty, and permanence. But the cracks slicing across its slopes proves that even the mightiest mountains can break. What scientists have found is more than erosion. It's a warning of faults straining in silence, of tremors whispering beneath Yellowstone's shadow, of a landscape that is anything but stable. The Tetons may be young in geologic time, but they are restless, and the fracture at Hidden Falls may be the first visible sign of forces preparing to move. The question isn't whether the Earth will shift, it's when and how violently. So the next time you look up at the Tetons, remember, they are not just mountains. They are a fault line, a fracture, and perhaps the opening chapter of a disaster still to come. If you want to uncover more shocking geological discoveries and hidden dangers that could change the world as we know it, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video with others. Because the cracks in the Tetons may only be the beginning, and what lies beneath could shake all of America.